Where is he? What? Virus? Poor excuse. I'm extinct and I still show up to work. Hello and welcome to Newsadon, the Animasaurus news for the 1st of May. First blows have been struck in a war between the movie theatres and distributors during the meteoric epidemic. With the successful release of Trolls World Tour, Universal Pictures announced it would bypass traditional cinema release windows and put selected movies on a premium video-on-demand services. Angered by this, AMC Theatres, the largest theatre chain in the States, put out a statement saying that they will not screen any Universal movies. Effective immediately. Cineworld, the second largest theatre chain, swiftly followed suit. This is an unravelling conflict that will have large implications on the movie industry. The Lego Group have found a new home for its flagship franchise, with reports saying a deal has been struck with Universal Studio. Deadline reports that a deal led by Universal's Donna Langley and Lego Group's Jill Wilferett ensures five years of theatrical released Lego feature films from Universal. Oh, well I hope they bring back the dinosaurs that were in Batman. They were the only things worth watching. And they got beaten. And that's not right. Citing an unprecedented demand for high-quality family entertainment in the home, Warner Brothers will premiere its animated feature, Scoob, on video on demand in the US and Canada on May 15th. The Tony Chevron-directed film will be available for a 48-hour rental via premium video on demand for $19.99 or premium digital ownership for $24.99 beginning on Friday, the May the 15th. And in Australian news, the Communications Minister, Paul Fletcher, announced that Australian dramas, children's and documentary content quotas to free to air and subscription TV has been suspended. Suspended? So does that mean that all the funding has been allocated to all Australian content creation is now suspended? More reruns of offshore produced mindless soap dramas? But a $54 million package has been allocated for news corporations. Well, that could be good for me. I am in news after all. Thank you for joining me. I'm wishing you a pleasant day. And that was the stories for this week.